Now, four days after the attempted assassination of President Trump, the narrative is still this. An awkward kid suddenly transformed into Jason Bourne and single-handedly outfoxed the entire U.S. Secret Service, state police, and FBI on foot with a ladder under one arm and a rifle under the other. And he still can't get into his phone, apparently. And you've asked yourself, by now, why does this narrative feel so restless? It's like an overdue pregnant woman who can't find a comfortable spot. Anyway. Something's not kosher. You know it. I know it. Quite simply, here's where I think we are. They're smart enough to know they won't get away with killing Trump, but desperate enough to try. They must take their shot. And the monkey bread narratives they're feeding us smells of cover-up. Because the questions we have don't linearly emerge out of a gigantic wad of pure incompetence, Melissa McCarthy lookalikes aside, why was Trump's detail stripped to accommodate Jill Biden's little dinner party one county over? Why was Trump's detail stripped to protect Kamala Harris, also in the same state? Why was Trump's detail stripped to go babysit NATO? And why were 25 agents and two sergeants told to watch the passage of time in an empty White House with no one to protect? Even ABC News giddied up and wondered, what were the two counter snipers doing inside the building instead of on the roof of the very building the shooter used? Here's Biden friend and Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle's answer. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be cons considered there that we would want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. Every gun holstering Secret Service agent in America cringed at that interview. They know full well this has all the hallmarks of an inside job. I've never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. And keep in mind, these are not just right-wing conspiracy questions. And while there are plenty of misdirected theories, misinformation, hoaxes, and trolls, the indisputable fact that the government